Earth looks huge and terrifying, but it's only a fraction of the size of the world. Technology has made it possible for us to explore this great unknown, sending rockets and satellites into space to search for mysteries beyond our universe. We are always driven by curiosity, and each new discovery inspires new wonders to discover. We want to uncover the world's secrets and explore its infinite depths. How does this work? Well, the Voyagers are sending data back to us for processing. But not everything was so easy. It had been many months since we had made contact with Voyager, and after months of silence, it was wonderful to see. Join us as we discuss everything that happened and what this discovery means for human life. But before we get to that, let's review the Voyager project in general, how it got started. The launches of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were events that changed the course of history forever. On August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 was launched with its mission to explore the vast regions of the solar system. But this is only the beginning. Shortly after leaving Earth, NASA made history by capturing the Moon and Earth in the same plane. Voyager's primary mission was to explore the planets, but it also had a secondary mission, to provide information about the stars and the interstellar medium beyond. To do this, spacecraft have sophisticated tools to map their surroundings as they travel through space. The instrument was able to gather information about magnetic fields, particle density, radiation levels and even the properties of interstellar clouds. Voyager was also equipped with a special communication system to send back information from space. This communication system is essential for Voyager to understand as it travels through planets, moons and stars. Voyager 1 was launched on September 18, 1977, following its siblings. As they set out to explore and document our corner of the world, the journey began like this, a journey full of discoveries that surprised us. From the last launch, this mission promised to be amazing. A journey to discover the mysteries of the solar system and take a deep dive into what the solar system has to offer. The future is bright for Voyager and the mission ahead. It is impossible to predict how much information this project will give us in the coming decades. This mission was well planned. Although it is common to think that our solar system is round, it is not. However, all planets revolve in an irregular and structured ellipse to make space travel comfortable and efficient. August and September 1977 was one of those windows, a rare time when all the planets were in orbit during Voyager's visit. This means you don't have to deviate from the path, because it can be done successfully. This is an amazing time in history. Stars and planets will spend about $865 million in research to leave Earth and fly into space. Within a year, they reached Jupiter and defied expectations, releasing 4,000 close-up images of the gas giant. Two new moons and another ring were discovered, surprising scientists. The mission was very successful and it is possible to organize these studies regularly. They also gave us more information about the solar system, some overview of what we know. But with each new discovery, things get crazier, who knows what they'll find. The possibilities are endless. One of the most amazing things we heard from the Voyagers was when Voyager 1 took an amazing image of Earth at a distance of 11.7 million kilometers, the first image of Earth and its moon. That distance it was amazing because it showed so well the relationship between the moon and the Earth as a unit, something we only thought about at the time. It's just amazing to think that this phone and metal case, orbiting space at such a high speed, was able to capture such an amazing image from a distance of 11 million kilometers. It's amazing that we humans have been able to create something so amazing and so advanced that we can do it. On March 5, 1979, Voyager 1 took its first image of Jupiter from a distance of 57.6 million kilometers, an impressive feat but this is just the beginning. On March 9, 1979, after analyzing the image taken by the probe, a volcano was discovered on Io, one of Jupiter's moons. This was one of the first times such a thing was considered. At the same time, contact with Voyager 1 was lost, a terrifying moment for everyone at NASA and the world. 
After all the time, resources and effort put into exploring the solar system for this purpose, it can't possibly go wrong. This is something that has never happened before and NASA is working around the clock to restore the connections. After some mishaps, they succeeded, and as it turned out, on November 11, 1980, Voyager 1 made the first flyby of Titan, Saturn's largest moon. The data and images sent back to Earth reveal a much more complex universe. We thought that one of the most important things to see in this fight was that the Titan was not as first thought. Scientists estimated its size to be between 6,000 and 6,500 kilometers, but Voyager 1 revealed that it is only 5,150 kilometers across, about 25% smaller than previously reported. Voyager 2 followed its companion a year later and approached Uranus on January 24, 1986, revealing the icy world full of amazing features such as clouds and blue-green rings. The study also found that Uranus has 11 distinct moons and two new rings. The event revealed that Uranus is the coldest gas in the solar system, with a temperature of minus 224 degrees Celsius and a strong magnetic field that is tilted differently by the planet's spin axis. Voyager 1's exploration continued, and in February 1990 it took a family photo of our solar system, 60 frames stitched together to form a mosaic of six planets and their moons. In February 1998, Voyager 1 became the most distant human-made probe. Space, and will go beyond the planet in August 2012. Voyager 2 followed in November 2018 and entered interstellar space. Despite their distance, Voyager 1 is 22 billion kilometers from Earth, their discoveries continue. In March 2019, Voyager 1 detected a faint hum, a small radio wave produced by turbulence in the interstellar medium. The discovery could help scientists understand how galaxies form and evolve over time. Both Voyager probes represent human activity and discovery. Despite the difficulties, they braved the unknown and delivered great news. However, communication with Voyager 2 was lost due to the reconstruction of the antenna of Deep Space Station 43, DSS-43, in Australia, the only station capable of sending commands to Voyager 2. At this time, no a command that was possible. It's sent to the spacecraft, but it's still sending data back to Earth, allowing scientists to study the interstellar regions. When repairs are completed in February 2021, NASA will resume communications with Voyager 2 and ensure that the orbiter continues to operate properly. The Voyager missions have revolutionized our understanding of the solar system and beyond. Despite being launched over 45 years ago, they continue to amaze us with new discoveries about the universe. As the Voyager mission continues to surprise us with its discoveries, we are reminded of the incredible potential of space exploration and the endless mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Each new discovery by the Voyagers, from discovering interstellar plasma to capturing distant images of the solar system, has changed our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Now exploring more than anything humans have ever done before, these spaceships carry with them the hope of mankind and show us the unknown. Voyager's journey is a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity, showing that even in the farthest and most unseen parts of the world, there is always something new to discover. The mysteries of deep space are always fascinating, but with each new signal from the Voyagers, we get closer to answering the age-old question of what lies behind the stars.